Hi guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use UI Builder and Codeless Logic to upload a file into backendless file storage of your backendless application. The video is going to be very short. In fact, it is so simple that there's really no Codeless Logic because the UI Builder component takes care of everything. And if you are going through backendless missions and you are in a task to upload a file using API, this is exactly what you need to use because this takes care of that for you. So here I have a, a blank page and file upload in UI Builder is handled by this file uploader button component. Drag it out to the uh, page and a couple of changes we need to make here. The directory that we will be uploading the file to is called mission and uh, accept parameter. Will, can, you can use it to specify the kind of uh, file types you want to accept. I'm going to change it to star, meaning any kind of file. And that is all it is going to take. The mission directory, I don't have one there. Let me switch to backend and then file storage. And in here, the mission directory is not there. It will be created automatically whenever you upload a file. If you want to pre-create the directory, that's not a problem. Go ahead and create that directory if you would like. Or if you already had it from previous missions, that is fine as well. And uh, in here, the only thing you need to make sure is really just the accept parameter and the directory where it's going to be going. And for now, let's just run this page. When you click the upload button, you'll be uh, selecting the file. The task requires that you select the file that is called, well, that, that you actually upload the file that is called superfast.html. Click open, the upload starts right away. And as you can see, it is uploaded. Uh, by the way, you can control the success messages, the failed messages. It is all going to be in here. So you can uh, control what the label says when the file is uploaded. And at this point, if you switch the backend, here's the mission directory that is now created. The file is here. Click on this. This is the content of the file. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. I do hope you found this useful. And as always, happy codeless coding.